Hello everyone, welcome to the Squatch coding class. In this video, I'm going to teach you the pen function in Squatch and we are going to use it to draw a lot of shapes. Okay, be before we start, make sure to subscribe, it's free and it will only take you two seconds. Let's get started. Okay, so we're in Squatch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extension, add the pen blocks because uh, they're not by default so you're going to have to add an extension in the bottom left corner. And I'm going to choose a sprite. Uh, we'll do something related to what we're doing today. That's going to be a pencil. And I just want to set the size to 40 or something like that. Because the pencil is not going to be the main focus. We want to see the pen itself. And now, simply, we're going to get our pen. Pen down is when you're going to write with it and your pen up is when you're not going to write with it. So pen down is it's touching the backdrop and it's going to keep drawing and if it's a pen up it will not draw at all. So it is already pen up so if we move steps it's not going to draw anything. So now we have got another command it's called erase all and this is going to erase all the pen on the stage. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration, pen down, move 10 steps, a pen appears, erase all, and pen up again, and that is the basic concepts of the pen, and we are simply just going to draw a straight line, left to right, very simple, so what we got to do is we have got to go when green flag clicked, and then move a certain number of steps, say move, 150 steps, pen down before we move the steps and then after we go pen up and we want to move back 150 steps so that will be move minus 150 steps and we can try that now there it is, it did that so fast you might want to put weight blocks if you want to see it actually in action so I'm simply going to raise all, I'm actually going to set a command here for when space key press, so it will raise everything. So that is how you use the pen in Scratch. Now I want you to try and pause the video and think how would I draw a square. Okay, so time's up now. We have got to draw a square, so what we got to do is we have got to go when green flag clicked, pen down, because we are going to draw, we are going to draw a straight line, so we're going to move some steps, let's go move 120 steps, and then after we have got to turn direction, so we have got to turn the sprite to 90 degrees, then we might even put a weight block so you can actually see it in action and then while it's turning uh, so we got to go another 120 steps and then turn another 90 degrees and so on and we can just speed the process up by simply putting a repeat loop and I'm go also going to put a repeat loop in a repeat loop uh, so you can actually see the steps moving and now let's test it so it's going to go really slowly with the script and we want to repeat four times not ten times let's get started there it is it's drawing it it's going up it's turning and there we go and it is the pen so the pencil does not look realistic so what we want to do with the pencil is set rotation style left to right and it shouldn't be doing that and rotating. Erase all and we might want to set the pen up now as well. So now that is a square and before we move on you can also customise your pen. You can change the pen colour, you can also change the pen size which I am going to do and now let's get started into our next puzzle and the next puzzle is how would I draw an equilateral triangle so how do you think I do that pause the video and have a think now okay 
Okay, so your time's up, but now we have got a uh, green flag click point in direction, 90 degrees. We have got pen down, and then a triangle has three sides. So we are going to repeat this process three times, and then we are just going to move our steps, move 120 steps, and I'm just going to do this so you can actually see the sprite move the steps and then after I'm just going to put a bit of delay and then we have got to turn anti-clockwise you might think it's 60 degrees because an equilateral triangle's angles is 60 degrees well if you think that you're absolutely wrong because you've got to turn 120 degrees how did I get 120 well a straight line is 180 degrees, so 180 degrees minus 60 degrees gives you 120 degrees. And now we can test this out because this will work. That is correct because the sides look exactly the same length and they are. So well done if you got that right. It was quite hard and you should probably know now how to do a right angled isosceles triangle. So there has got to be a right angle, then there have got to be two 45 degree angles. So have a think about it and pause the video and I'll see you back with the answer. Okay, your time's up now. Here is the code, it's very long and I'm going to explain how I got it. So first of all, uh, we're going to dump all this and we have got point in direction 90 degrees. I'm going to do this a specific length because any other length it will be harder to work. This is the easiest method. We're going to do move 100 steps. So 100 steps and then of course we have got the turn. 45 degrees and of course it's 180 minus 45 which gives us 135 degrees so that is the first bit the next bit is not so easy because an isosceles triangle only two of the lengths are the same one of them is going to have to be longer or shorter so there is a theory of mathematics it's called a uh, sine cosine and basically this finds out are missing side and I've calculated it's about 140 steps you do not need to know that by the way so now if this right does not move I can actually edit the script I'm gonna make it 140 steps because that's what we're gonna need it's also gonna be a 45 degree turn and then we can simply just copy this but this time we've got to change the step and that uh, uh, to a hundred steps and then we have got to change this to 90 degrees because 180 minus 90 is 90 right let's test it like the movement is right now we just got to add the pen let's go there we go a right angle triangle is being created that is a perfect right angle triangle could not be any better than that now, now or one of our final challenges in today's video before we end is to draw a circle. So how do you think you'd do that in Squatch? Well pause the video and have a think. Okay time's up. So now we have got pen down of course and then repeat 360 times. There are 360 degrees in a circle so we repeat it 360 times move steps we're just going to move one step and then we are going to turn one degree and that is it we don't need any weight blocks or it's just going to make the process really slow and boring to watch and let's go there it is it's moving circle is nearly complete and there we go that is a very good circle it's not obviously going to be perfect, but it's good enough. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. I'm going to set a few challenges for you. Why don't you draw a face, like an emoji on Scratch? Use your circles for the eyes, and you can use a mouth by using like a rectangle, which we haven't done yet. 
but you can just modify the code of the square which is right here and change a different length like they did for the triangle so also you can think how would you make the circle a bit smaller or how would you make it bigger and the answer to that is the steps because the steps will affect the size of the circle and if we do it this time it is way smaller so you can have fun with it. have fun with circles as well and make your own triangles and other shapes you really like and you think it would make a good challenge but that is really it we've got time for so make sure to leave a like on this tutorial if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and go back and check out my past videos if you haven't already so that's going to be it for today bye for now